Hey, hey, how are we doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Wulong Fallen Dynasty boss guide. Today, we are going to be taking on Demon Liu Bei. Yeah, I think that's how you say his name. Um, here's my equips and stats in case you guys are curious. And as always, let's go over a few things before the boss guide. Alright, since this guy is extremely fast, I want to explain how to get in some posture damage. So, after that spin attack, you yeah, always do this overhead lightning attack, which you can dodge in, get a few shots in, heavy blow, dodge in, get a few shots, heavy blow, and boom, stamina breaks. Okay, this, um, if you change it, it's really easy to just break his stamina that way. See, here's another clip. See, after the diving in, he does that overhead. Seems like a guarantee. Uh, another move you can string in the overhead is that double spin attack when he's just like spinning stationary. And then gets an uh, overhead lightning attack afterward but this one doesn't seem to be guaranteed see sometimes you just after the two spins uh, it just goes and does its own thing so this one you can you know you wait for it but it doesn't seem like it's always gonna happen all right now let's get into the red attacks so it has this red diving one which after you parry it you can get a few shots and then land your heavy blow kind of like the overhead lightning attack and here's another clip of it. And I'm surprised it got rid of the lightning bubble around the arena. And here's his final red attack. It shoots three times. The first and second one will clash and the third one will hit him. Same thing after you down him. Just go in, get a few shots in, and then heavy blow. Alright, so let's get into the boss fight now. Double spin attack. There's a delay, so make sure you pause between your dodges or deflects. Don't spam it. Double spin again, watch out for the ground lightning, that's very important. If it's like if even if it has openings, like watch out for the ground lightning, dodge that first, deflect that first, okay? This this is the annoying thing about this boss fight. Because like he constantly sends those balls on the ground and those things will send out shockwaves. His regular attacks you can block it or you can parry it. If you're not comfortable with parrying, you can always just block it. So here we go, deflected that, overhead heavy attack. Alright, stun bar is filled up. And we got the crit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Resetting here, getting some damage in. Be careful not to stick around too long because of the lightning. Okay, overhead lightning attack. Few hits in, heavy attack. Back away. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Alright, just regular jumping attack. Tail sweep always catches me. Alright. Okay, the bladed attack. Send it back. Rushing towards them. Be careful when you hit them here because when they get up, there's a spin attack here. Okay, so either block or parry that. He's almost gonna get stunned. There we go. Yeah, like as the meter is depleting, you're getting some like cheap shots before you land the crit just to maximize your damage. And that's pretty much it. This guy barely does. Oh, this one when he sends like. Like he has, he keeps the three balls and he sends it towards you. Um, you can just simply dodge left or right once or twice. You can spam it if you want, but just make sure you actually deflect the, the ball coming after you. But yeah, um, he does the red attack so rarely. That's why I don't like even bother trying to bait it too much. This is what you want to do. Like the overhead lightning attack is what you want to bait. Because it like it's recovery time for the boss. It... It, it's good enough for you to do a lot of like the stun bar build up for him. So, yeah, see, he just leaves himself open. And you have a lot of like the blue bars, so you can just deal some massive damage and also build up that white and red bar on the boss really easily by doing that. Now, this is what you want to watch out about. Like, this is the most annoying thing the freaking balls that. The, that stay on the battlefield and it constantly sends out shockwaves and the boss trying to harass you at the same time. That's like what makes this um, fight annoying and difficult in my opinion. Because instead of watching, you know, just focusing on the boss, you have to watch out for like damage coming in from behind and stuff like that or from the side. But yeah, um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped, and if it did, hopefully y'all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, hope to catch y'all later. Homes, out.